This time, split opinions on how to update a split entry home. I like architectural interest, architectural detail. I like simplicity. <laughs> <laughs> our homeowners have some tough decisions ahead. He doesn't like a lot of change. But our designer hopes to push them in the right direction. I'm really hoping that they're going to stretch a little farther and go into the greens. We're bringing contemporary change to a simple split level on this curb appeal. Kevin and Patty Weber are always on the go. Momentum, keep going Ian. Go Ian! Catch him! After 16 years in their house, they can't beat the location. And we never intended to stay here that long, but we love our neighbors and our neighborhood. Kick it in Ian! Oh no, Kick here comes it. Ian! Oh! oh, good shot! That's why their biggest challenge is finding a way to live with a house they don't love. I hate having a split entry house. When guests come over, it's very awkward for them to get in and out of the door, and the design is just very blah. A narrow entrance, a jungle of plants, and dull colors make this house unwelcoming. This is definitely a fantastic backyard. We love Thank it you. back here. Yeah, I'm sure this is one of the reasons you bought the house, right? It is, yeah. It is, yep, we love the privacy and the beautiful trees. Mm. So now we have to take this love, translate it to the front. And that's what our designer is going to help you do. Great. We're up for it. Excellent. Designer Diana Grandin is focused on bringing craftsman details to this outdated split level. Changing up those roof lines and finding a nice, warm, welcoming entry that doesn't feel like a 1970s house, I think is going to be the biggest idea that's going to come out of this. Patty has plenty of ideas of her own. Restructuring the front walkway is number one. I'm sure our, our guests have not been too thrilled with our our uh, ever-narrowing space here. The surrounding plants hide everything but the cracks. I think our six-year-old would be really happy if we could get rid of that crack. And Patty envisions a more formal entrance to the home. I've always wanted something, something, a portico of some kind or something that kind of maybe would extend out. Right now, the entry is stuck in the middle of two different floors. If we can take some of the focal impact off of that, then we can help bring it up into a more modern era of construction. Everyone agrees that the brick facade dates the house. It really needs to go. And it's definitely time to retire the original siding. We've talked about it for years and uh, would like something that runs more horizontally instead of vertically. But Kevin does like the color. We chose these colors five years ago when we repainted the house. I think it really suits us. I'd hate to stray too far away from the browns that we have on here right now. Kevin is very much um, interested in not changing. Kevin is ready for one change. I really want to have a tree kind of where the big arbor vitae is right now. Deanna learns that the overgrown bushes are no accident. We're not so crazy about the overhang on the house. Okay. So we've kind of left them there to kind of hide the house actually a little bit. And what about the lack of landscape in front of their addition? It just seemed too overwhelming to be honest for us to kind of tackle ourselves. Deanna is happy to join forces with the Webbers to make their dream home a reality. Deanna wants to update the drab brown siding with green shakes accented with cream trim. We'll add interest to the roof line with not one, but two gables that will complement the new portico. Grand steps will extend further out into the yard, creating a welcoming entrance. Stone veneer on both the steps and the house will tie the design together. A natural wood garage door and stone columns will add craftsman-style detail. Finally, a new landscape with low-growing plants and a sitting area will highlight the home instead of hiding it. I was really excited on the landscape plan to see that little sitting area. It completely blew me away. I didn't even think about anything like that yeah, as an option. Yeah, me too. And uh, Deanna found a way to get my tree in there in the corner that I asked her for, and she found a way to figure it in there, so I was really happy with that. Before Kevin gets his tree, the old arborvitae has to come down. I think our first reaction was, wow, there's a lot more space here than we thought. The crew cuts through the rest of the jungle. And then we saw the house, more of the house. <laughs> we're, oh, that's why we're redoing all this. And the crack in the step is removed for good. So 
So paint testing day, huh? Yes. Can you guess what colors I brought? Fuchsia. You bet. You're right. Brown and green. Brown for Kevin, green for Patty. Yes. I'm really hoping that they're going to stretch a little farther and go into the greens. But just in case, I have a brown that I hope Kevin will like. Well, I know he's a tough one, so much luck to you. Thank you. The first test is between two different shades of green. I think this almost looks like it has too much gray. I would like something maybe a deeper green. The browns are next. Which color do you want to see much more of? I'm leaning to this one. It's no surprise that Kevin's choice looks a lot like their current house color. <laughs> but after the paint dries, Patty has a different opinion. I'd still like to lean to something that has a little more green in it. So with green tones on her mind, Deanna consults an expert on manufactured stone to narrow down veneer choices. Well, right now we really haven't chosen our paint samples, but okay. I know the homeowners are not leaning towards the blues, and this might have a little too much texture for them. Okay. So I would narrow it down to these two. I really like the Manzanita myself. This is a great choice. I don't think you're going to go wrong with this. Again, the colors that are involved in this particular profile uh, there's a variety, and the one that stands out are the green color hues, which is soft. Great. Well, I'd love to take these two samples back and show them to my homeowners. Absolutely. <laughs> Just what the Webers need. More decisions. Coming up, Deanna pushes plants. Now, this is a lot of change for you. Kevin gets a helping hand. And the color controversy continues. Let's just say the paint isn't bought yet. <laughs> <laughs>
The next day, the eaves are cut back to make room for the portico. While the crew starts framing, Patty meets with our siding expert to find out what her style options are. We are really interested in something that looks like cedar. Do you have a cedar type grain on there? We sure do. I've, been, I've had this on the market for about six years and it just looks phenomenal. We love the graining in there, how it looks yes. rather than just a flat. It, people can't tell the difference between this and natural cedar. The fiberboard cement siding will be painted any color Patty wants before it arrives. And if Kevin wants to change the color later... The beauty of this product is you can recode it. Only a few days into construction of the portico, the front entry already has a new personality. I think the portico looks great. My initial reaction was that it was going to be too big and that it was going to stick out too much. But as it looks now, I think it's going to really fit in there perfectly. One of the other things that we we're adding to gain more architectural interest into the house was we added a six to eight inch bump out on the front of one of the boys' bedrooms just to help break up some of those flat lines and also to help de-emphasize the bump out that was already on the home from the tuck under garage to the upstairs living spaces. So while the crew works on the architectural changes, Patty shows me one of the finer details that will give this makeover craftsman style. I personally like the current address choice. <laughs> I like the, the juxtaposition of the old siding against the new construction. I think it's a statement. While gray limestone is traditionally used for engraving house numbers, Patty chose a slightly higher priced travertine since the color will better complement their home. It was maybe $20, $30 more. But it's your address. It's our address. So it's important. The pizza guy needs to be impressed when he pulls That's up. That's right. Well, yeah. he will be. <laughs> Still not satisfied with the size of the main gable, Patty takes matters into her own hands. The gable um, on the right side above the living room, I feel like I want it to be bigger. And so we've talked with Dave, and he's going to make it, build it up a little bit, and make it a little bit bigger. I really like the gable on the front. That, that looks great. But when it comes to the landscape, Patty is putting all her trust into Diana. We're going to look at the plant material that is going to go in their yard for the landscape that I've designed for them. I love the variety of texture and color and shape. A mixture of shorter plants is the best complement for the Weber's split-level home. Finding plant material that's going to complement the architecture and not make it look overgrown in five to ten years from now is really important. The turtle head will be a great fit in front of the retaining wall. Because year-round color is important to the landscape, Diana chooses a barberry plant. It does have the nice burgundy color throughout the growing season. It turns brighter red during the fall. I love gardening, but with the kids at the ages they're at, it's really a challenge. So. It's nice to have the perennials that will kind of keep coming back and require minimal maintenance. All right, well, let's go out and take a look at your pagoda dogwood tree. This tree will add interest to the yard all year with white flowers in the spring, berries for birds in the summer, and red leaves in the winter. And how big is it going to get? This is going to get to be about 8, 10 feet wide and about 15 feet tall. So it's really a great size Perfect, to fit yeah. right in front of that corner and give you some of the screening you were looking for mm -hmm. outside of your family room windows. Yeah. Great. Beautiful. I love the fall color. All right. What do you guys think of all the changes happening to the house? Good. Good. What does dad think of all the changes? Bad. Bad. Well, he's getting his tree though. Yes. Yes. We're all on board. Almost all of us at least. Coming up, will Patty get her way with color? It really went back and forth. Kevin battled the steps. Now it's coming. And later, a transformation you won't want to miss. We are in the middle of shaping up the Weber's old split entry, and changes are coming from every direction. The plan calls for replacing the 70s style bricks.